Kinsey here at the infamous Newmeyer's house. Newmeyer, who got banned for life from Disney. But now he, he's rich, so he can go back whenever he wants. And because he's rich, he's also got all the good booze, which is why I'm here at his house to make a Mai Tai. The other reason being that he's still kind of a dick, and so whenever he comes over to my house, he breaks shit. That's not true. Yes, it That's is true. true. You like to break my stuff. Well, I do, but it doesn't happen every time I come over. That's a cool shirt. Thank you. Did you steal that from me? What? Did you steal that shirt from me? Yeah. Dick. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a original Mai Tai. This is not the crappy Mai Tai that you get everywhere where it's got like pineapple juice and orange juice and all this other juice in it. In fact, the Lapu Lapu with the Polynesian has got a Mai Tai in it, but it's got all that freaking juice in it. No, this is a real Mai Tai invented by Vic Bergeron of Trader Vic fame, and uh, it's a very stiff drink, but it's good. So, first ingredient is almond syrup. And uh, I got this online, I got a bunch of bottles. Um, if worse comes to worse, you could use uh, probably like sugar syrup and some almond flavoring, I guess, or maybe even some amaretto, I guess. Um, you can also use creme de noyax, it's an almond uh, creme liqueur. De noyax. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put in a a half ounce of this. It's not very much. Just enough to give it some sweetness. All right. There we go. All right. Half ounce of almond syrup. Up next is curacao. Now the original recipe calls for orange curacao, but I think it makes a really gross, like uh, dirty brown concoction. It's kind of yucky. But this is kind of space age. So it's blue curacao. And this is essentially orange flavored, so you could also use Grand Marinier. I'm going to put in an ounce of this, because it's awesome. All right, so now we've got one and a half ounces of stuff in here. And I'm going to put it into the shaker, which already has a fair amount of ice in it. Um, mix it up here, and bam. All right, now, next ingredient is rum. We have Appleton Estate rum, which is pretty good. That's what I prefer. So, you're gonna use two ounces of that. Like I said, this is a pretty stiff drink here. We've really only put booze and, uh, and some uh, sugar syrup in. So two ounces of that. There we go, into the shaker. Bam. Okay, now we're gonna squeeze a half a lime, big regular lime, squeeze it right into there. Show off those muscles. And I'm going to try to get as much juice out as I can. I didn't bring the lime squeezer. I guess you could use a juicer, but there you go. All right, that's enough. Drop it in there. All right, then we're going to shake it all up if I don't drop it first. Shake, 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 shake. You want to shake it a lot because the so, point is to get the ice kind of melted. You'll know it's good if you've, if you've got a metal shaker like the one we use in here. A little frost will form on the outside of it and that's when it's done. Yeah, my hands are cold and I don't want to shake it anymore. That too. Alright, so then we take the lid off and we're not going to strain it. We're going to pour the whole thing in because again the ice is there mainly to dilute the booze. So we're going to pour it into this really cool tiki glass that came from the Polynesian, I think. Is that right? Yes, you smuggled out of the Polynesian in a trench coat. Lime and all. And then we're going to take a sprig of mint. We're going to smack it to release the oils. Smack it a few times and dip it in there and just kind of let it sit. Now usually the lime floats to the top and it looks like a kind of little island, but it's not doing that right now, so maybe later. But uh, that, essentially that's it. So you've got a Mai Tai. And as we already found out in my last video, I can't drink this with these on, so yeah. But I'm sure it's wonderful. Cheers. It, yeah, this is a nice place. It's cool that you're rich now. And you got a nice bar and shit. Hey Kinsey, check this out. What? What? Wait. Ah! You son of a bitch! How <laughs> dare you, Mark? You, you, <laughs> you are!